We just finishing up with the gym workout. Chest day, the best day, man. You know I got that heavy weight, 315, 365 for reps. Y'all know how we do. Quick correctional officer video though, man. We talking about a serious topic. We talking about why correctional officers on average die younger. You know, I read the news and I, I know I do a lot of research and studying, you know, when it comes to corrections in the field of corrections. And I, I read a lot of article where they say on average, law enforcement and correctional officers, we die typically younger, you know? And I'm trying to, you know, looking at it from a personal standpoint, I've seen people in the field, you know, that died in their fifties from heart attacks. You know, I've seen quite a few of my coworkers that died young. Know? Some of them, they died right when they retired. They weren't even retired a year and died, they had a heart attack. And then on the flip side, you know, I got coworkers that I know that retired. They, they, you know, some I still see some of them at my gym. You know, they in their sixties, late sixties and whatnot. Man, they still going strong. I think a lot of it got to do with your lifestyle too. You know, so the main thing I try to emphasize is not letting the job stress you out. You know, stress is a big time killer. You know, we in a negative environment, we in a stressful environment, and I feel like when you do that that type of work for years on end and you let it get to you, that's a lot of stress built up, you know, because you gotta think now, we gotta constantly be on alert. From the time we walk behind that Sally Port to the time our relief show up and we walking back out the Sally Port, you know, you could be there five minutes into your shift, man, and the damn inmate gets stabbed right in the neck, blood squirting out everywhere. You ain't even been there, you ain't even had a chance to drink your coffee, shit like that, man. So being in that constant state, you know where you gotta always be on gold mode. You gotta constantly be on alert. You know, you going in there every day, expecting the unexpected. You gotta know how to turn that shit off. You know what I'm saying? And this is the next thing too. I feel like, you know, when it comes to unexpected death, I feel like, shit, when it's your time, it's your time. You know, I don't know when I'ma go. God willing, I could live a long, prosperous life after I retire from the prison shit like that but if it's time to go you know you gotta you gotta accept your fate but i feel like uh some of them situations where some of my co-workers may have had a heart attack and died unexpectedly some of it it may just have been unfortunate and then like i said some of it i think had to do with stress you know that constant stress on your heart this and that then i feel like too your lifestyle is a big part of it you know we working all these uh different shifts we not eating the best we ain't exercising because we tired from working. You know, we dealing with that stress on a daily basis. That's why I try to preach the importance of trying to get active and moving, you know, because one thing about it as a correctional officer, we constantly sit in majority of the shift. You sitting on your ass, then you go home and you sit on your ass. You know, it's like a sedentary lifestyle, you know, and it's like the most action you may see where you do some physical is shit, maybe you cutting the grass or you responding to an emergency at the prison. Outside of that, you don't go to the gym. You know, you ain't eating the best. We working all these hours, so you like, man, shit, I ain't finna cook or meal prep. I'ma just go through the McDonald's drive-thru, fucking give me a goddamn four for four with a large fry, wash it down with a large coat. You do that shit on a daily, a daily basis, man, for the majority of your career, you know, you bound to have health problems, you know? You, you running the risk of having a heart attack, you know? But like I said, man, some of that shit is probably genetics too, you know? Like I said, you can't you can't predict when it's your time. Some people, they may, they may, I know people that have worked out that were in great shape, ate good and still died young, you know? It's just some, it's just a part of it, man. This is the next thing too, I think, that contributes to officers in the correctional field dying prematurely. Some of us, we abuse that bottle, man. Drink too much, man. Drinking every day. I'm talking about, man, I got some coworkers, man. It's like every day I talk to them, man. They about to get all worried. Like, I'm gonna go have me a drink. I'm like, God damn, man. Me, I don't really drink as much these days. I don't, I hardly drink at all, to be honest with y'all, because I be so busy, you know, with work, going to the gym and working on this YouTube content. So it's like, I don't even really be having time to drink. You know, it's times. Shit, I may go out, I don't, even, I don't even hardly have a drink. I may have a beer or some shit like that, but I know coworkers, man, it's like they drink every day. You know, I had a coworker, man, the one I was telling y'all about that committed suicide. Man, it was like he used to drink every day. It got, it got to be like crazy. I was like, 
He was like, yeah, man, I'm finna go home, man. Drink me down there a whole fifth of this vodka. I'm like, God damn, that shit can't be good for you in the long run. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of it too, it deals with your lifestyle choices, man. You gotta make a conscious effort, you know, that do some type of physical activity. You know, you ain't gotta go to the gym like me. You know, if your thing is walking, uh, riding a bike, going swimming, some kind of physical activity to counter effect you know, us being sedentary and doing a lot of sitting at work. Cause you think about it, man. If, if you work in correction, let's be honest, man. Majority of the shift, we sitting on our ass in the office, on the unit with the inmates, or we sitting in the booth, this and that. You know, you got your stuff you gotta do. You may have to pass out trays, pass out the mail, do your rounds. But a lot of times we be sitting. It just, it's just the nature of the job. So you gotta be able to counter effect that. And then when it comes to the food, you know, you gotta try to make a conscious effort to try to eat healthy as possible, you know? If you gotta, uh, shit, order some damn food delivery services, you can take your meals with you, shit like that, you know, that go hand to hand. Because when you go to the doctor, right, let's say you start having health issues, I don't know, you start getting high blood pressure or diabetes or some kind of, you know, physical ailment. What's the first thing the doctor gonna tell you once you get there, man? They gonna recommend you start eating healthier, they gonna recommend you to start working out, shit like that, you know? But at the at the end of the day too, man, you still gotta live your life for you now. I ain't saying not to uh, eat unhealthy. I ain't saying not to go out and enjoy yourself, have drinks and shit. Cause one thing about me, I'm going, when I go out, I'm on vacation, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat good. I'm going to have drinks, I'm going to drink good. You know, I'm gonna smoke my cigar, shit like that, man. You know, you gotta balance it out. It's all about balance. You can't do that shit every single day and expect to have longevity. Eventually, you're gonna run into problems. You know what I'm saying? This is the next thing, man, as far as tips to improve your chances of survival after your career. You know, you gotta, like I said, with the exercise and the shit, once you retire, you gotta stay busy, man. You got to keep moving. Shit, I know a lot of people that retire from the prison, they end up getting other jobs. You know, I said me personally, I don't, I don't wanna be that type to go get another job. But I think, when I think about this shit, I'm like, that shit probably the best thing for some people, you know? Cause when you go, when you go and retire and you just like, you don't do shit hardly, you just sit at the crib. I feel like you just wither away. And it's like, you just, you start to decay. So, it, you know, you in the situation where you about to retire, you know, you watching this video, you have work correction and you retire, but you ain't really been active. You know, you gotta stay busy, stay on the move, staying productive and staying busy is a blessing. You know, I'm always on the move, you know, even when, you know, if I decide to work the uh, remainder of my career, I got probably what, 14 years left, I'll be eligible to retire when I'm 48. If I make it to that long, God willing, you know, I've decided to retire, I'm gonna go and do something else. Probably it's gonna be fitness related, you know, a personal trainer, online fitness coach, something like that, cause that's, you know, that's my passion, but I'm gonna do something. You gotta stay active. You gotta stay on the move. You can't just goddamn sit at the house all day, fucking uh, watching TV, just eating, drinking, sitting on the couch, eating beer and shit. You gonna weather away. You know, you gotta prioritize your health and you gotta, uh, Get that, get that shit in at the gym. Like I've been saying, man, some kind of physical activity and eating as healthy as possible, you know? This is the last thing I wanna leave y'all with. You gotta have a good support structure too during your career and after your career. You know, you gotta have people that's in your corner, that's rooting for you, that's sharing words of positive affirmations, uh, that's always in a positive, not always, but you know, they positive, they help uplift you when you have bad days. You don't wanna be around a bunch of negative people, you know, your family, you wanna make sure your family love you, they support you, what you doing. You don't wanna come home and it's a fucked up environment, negative environment, man, you down. And two, you gotta work on you, you know? You gotta learn how to leave shit at the gate when you go home. Once you go home, man, well, if you had a bad day, it's over with, that's my motto. If I have a bad day at work, I leave that shit at the gate, it's time for to go to the gym, come home and chill, man. I'm not finna come home cuss the kids out, you done cuss the wife out, you done got down uh, field go kick the little, the little dog and shit like that, man. You gotta know how to leave that shit at work and decompress. That's what I'm big on, man. I do some kind of decompressing. You know, I like to have my little chill spot, a chill spot, you know, where I go where I can be low key. It ain't real crowded and a lot of noise and shit. 
and I can kind of just be alone in my thoughts and relax. You need something like that too. You know, for me, I may just sit in my car, smoke my cigar at the gym, or I may hit like a cigar lounge or a coffee lounge and just, just sit in there and be by myself. There ain't a lot of noise, a lot of people in there, a lot of traffic. I can just be alone in my thoughts, you know, for an hour, two, three hours. Uh, you know, shit, just listening to music or just, you know, just doing me. You got to have some me time, too. I think that's a big component. You know, you can't give all your time to this job, to your family, to your loved ones, and not save no time for you. You know what I'm saying? If you do that, man, you're going to burn out. You're going to crash out. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, you know, I think some of it, like I said, some people, it's just unfortunate. You know, you die young and you have a, a heart attack or something at a young age in your 50s, shit like that. And then I think on the other end, you got like your lifestyle choices. Like I say, man, you you ain't uh, hardly working out, man. You just sitting there, sitting around, just eating, just getting big, bigger and bigger and bigger, man. You start to run into health problems. You start to run that risk, you know? So you just gotta, like I said, man, just try to prioritize your health and have that longevity and Take care of your mental health at the end of the day. Don't let the job stress you out. Learn how to decompress and leave work at work. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. I got the gym merchandise for sale, hoodies and t-shirts. Shop with me on my website, man. But yeah, y'all gonna be all right. To all my people too, man, that's about to get on in corrections. You going through the hiring process, you going to the academy, you been working the floor your first uh, week or two, man. All I, I wanna say again, congratulations. Keep going, man. Learn as much as you can about the job, man. I hope y'all do good. I hope y'all have a long, successful, productive career, man. You know how we coming. Let's get motivated.